when the hydrostat motors go out, it's almost $10,000 a motor. And there's four of them on this machine, so you can only, you, you know, you can do the math there. If another one goes out, it's going to be scrap metal because it's not worth fixing. Um, it does, the one good thing about it, it does have a really good engine in it. It's got a 5.9 Cummins um, that's in it. Uh, but other than that, I'm just not a big fan, fan of it. I'll never, as long as we farm, I'll never own another Rogator. And I know people are probably, you know, each is of their own. People probably like theirs and, and whatnot. It's like, you know, everybody like, there's people like John Deere, people that don't like John Deere, people that like Case, don't like Case. You know, it just, looking at getting another sprayer um, we spray uh, it'll be about oh I don't know about 6,000 acres total somewhere in there uh, between first crop burn down pasture
dealership brought out a uh, a Hagee uh, that they've been kind of passing around to their bigger customers uh, this this summer and spring or whatever to let them demo it or you know try it out. But it's a uh, it's an STS uh, 16. So it's the biggest one they make. It's got the 1600 gallon tank on it. Which, I mean, that would be the cat's ass, but that's a lot. I mean, that's, that some bitch would be heavy as hell, I would think, going through the field. But, anyway, that, my, my point is, that sprayer, list price is, is like over $500,000. $500,000 for one machine. Now, the good thing about that machine is that you can wide drop with it. So you can side dress your corn with it. So you're getting, I mean, it's essentially two pieces of equipment in one. But at the same time, it's still $500,000.